Well, good morning, everybody. Hopefully, you are doing very well. Simulation for the Nation here. Welcome back to the Clarkson's Farm Challenge on Carmsden Farm, where today, boy, we got some updates for you. Uh, a few little issues I found on the map that we're going to have to work around here, but we'll get to those. We, in the live stream that we were having on uh, Sunday, we did a little bit of a change around, really. We, uh, we sold a few things. We sold some land. We bought some land. We made some money. As you can see, we're currently sitting at 73,000 pounds. We had an awful lot more money than that not so long ago. And I, for those of you who watched the live stream, I did it. I didn't think I was going to do it. I thought I managed to resist the urge to do it, but I haven't. I've, I've, I've done a Clarkson. I've done a, a very good Clarkson, actually. I have gone above and beyond what I could ever need, really. Oh, I've just bought a huge tractor. Like, ginormously big tractor for my needs. This is colossal. It's far too big, but... It's a John Deere 8R. It's 310-ish horsepower. And it was on sale with £141,000. There, thereabouts. It's got 13 hours on the clock. It's not looking all too bad, actually. But yeah, we saved about 45 grand, or forty-five percent off of this, I think. I did buy the roller as well. That was already there. But yes, I mean, do I need this? Absolutely not. No, not at all. Uh, John Deere 7810 was doing a great job, but we've always talked about how Clarkson needs a bigger tractor, and he's got it. So this is going to be pulling around my 5 furrow plow and my 3 meter drill uh, with ease. And uh, it's going to be hilarious to do it, so I can't wait. But yeah, that's uh, this is our new addition. We're going to get to use this in just a second. What I want to do first off, though, is just move a few bits of these uh, trailers around here. I feel like we should uh, make a best effort to tidy this place up a little bit. Uh, and then, yeah, we at the moment, January is still panicking in theory. That's our challenge. Uh, but uh, the panic has subsided a little bit. We've been able to implement some of our ideas here to make a little bit of money, which is good uh, to bring some more money in whilst we wait. Uh, January is not a great month for contracts. There is nothing happening. We can't get any spring drilling started through until the uh, beginning of March. So February, I would suspect, would be pretty quiet too. Uh, we can get on with a bit of our own cultivation work, which is indeed what we have been doing. We've got a little bit of ground already uh, plowed over there and the new field that we split up. That's looking very good, actually. Uh, and then we'll look to probably do a little bit more plowing there. We've got some headlands to finish off. Uh, but today we're just going to start off at least by... Uh, let's get that lifted up there. Just give us a bit more room by just tidying up the yard here a little. It's going to look presentable where we can. That's not going to work. Let's spin around a little bit further. We've got the weight block on the back because we were shifting seed around with this before. This is the uh, polycam weight, which is recently on the mod hub there. And it works very well because you've got a nice uh, cone hitch on the very end of it. It does make moving trailers around actually that little bit more agile. It really swing them into different places. It really kicks out the, uh, the pivot point. Makes it a lot more maneuverable, uh, which is great when your yard's not the biggest. So we'll just stick this trailer back into here. So yeah, financially, we're looking a lot better now, actually. Uh, what we did, and I'll show you what we sold. These two fields don't belong to me. I cannot physically sell them. Uh, it will not let me sell them. We've transferred the money over, though, so we, we can't and will not be doing anything with those. So we sold those two. We sold field 26 and we sold field 36. We bought field 31 and field 4. My idea is now to sell the sheep pen down here so we can get rid of that field. Put the sheep into this field here. We've got another big grass field here. Rather than having some smaller fiddly ones, we're going to go into that big grass field there that we can mow and we can rake and we can bale quite easily. That is the plan. And we will get to that and we'll make sure that happens. We will be looking to get some kind of sheep transporter so we can get those moved out of there, put into there. Everything will be looking lovely. I think that will be a great way for us to go about that. Uh, so, until that time though... We're, uh, we're a two-tractor farm. Now, my, my thought process is thus. I can keep this... Cause it's nice to have a separate loader tractor. You know, so when you're loading fertilizer, for example, into a spinner, you don't have to take things off and put things on and all that mess. Nice to have everything kind of together. Also thought about maybe getting rid of this and bringing in a, a telehandler. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think would be the best way for us to go in the comment section. I'm all ears for this, really. Uh, I can really think that we can go either way there. So I'm happy to roll with your opinions. Uh, that could maybe be something we leave for a different challenge there. But we'll leave the 70, 
eight there for a little bit of a well in rest really that was on the plow just up until uh this morning really get those doors shut though this has got a seed in here we've only got six bags now we took two bags down to the the new greenhouses that we use and that actually require a little bit more work on them which is kind of cool i like that idea a lot i think that'll work very well uh, as i have a look at that field as you can see this is the field that we've plowed we've just got to go and do the headlands and wrap that field out we'll get that done nice and quickly this field here i think this the left hand side of field three really uh i think what we'll end up doing there is just cultivating that one over we have a six meter cultivator so we can get that one done pretty quickly we do have gps on our tractor as well which is great uh, so we should be able to sail through that but uh yeah oh i can't wait to put this onto the back of that tiny three meter drill it's really not even gonna know it's there um thoughts on the drills that we did pick that one up i think that was in sale as well so even if we did try and sell it at some stage we won't get too much money for it it's, yeah it's just, i mean we bought it for next to nothing so we'll get next to nothing back for it but yeah that is uh it'll be a good drill for us this uh spring we just need to get to the the point in the year where we well, where we can get going uh at some point this uh cellar rollers will live way down here we've got to make the most of these barns here they're a little challenging to, to utilize when you got some longer bigger kit and definitely know that this is not going to get into there very well but yeah i like this i like this a lot can't wait to get it onto the crone as well it should be good but it is that big tractor we're going to stick it onto everything that we can and use that absolutely anywhere that we can as well so that should be good fun uh no, we're actually going to turn around and go the other way let me know if you are following the 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 rules here to the clarkson's challenge if you are let me know how that's going like i say this is something that technically wasn't in this uh this month of challenges we did have a shopping challenge not so long ago which resulted in the baler and the drill uh but it was just something that felt right the, the tractor that we had was too too versatile uh too useful i think we just needed something that was a little bit too big a little bit too clumsy there and something that we you know we could do some jobs but would just be too big for other jobs so that's exactly what we've ended up with and i think as i crack into the wall there i think that's pretty perfect really so we'll we'll crack on with it and then we'll see how how it goes what i'm gonna do is try and just stick this into here that's a bit better let's turn it there and stop wonderful all right perfect we'll get to use that we on the roll cloud field that we're we're going to be seeding we'll probably go over after we've drilled everything there just to really uh firm everything up there and of course there's lots of very small uh, yield bonus that you can achieve through that as well we're going to stick a small little plow on the back now though and we'll go and uh go and get a bit of work done then we should be looking good like i say the weather is okay uh we are in a good place financially we've still got a tiny little bit of soybeans left to sell should we need to we've got some silage bills i don't think we're going to need to use them all so we can always look to get rid of those at a point in time as well i am stuck um but there's no real need to do that and i'd rather keep all those to feed the cattle as we uh, need to moving forward so if that's uh really after that there's nothing else that we need urgently which is i'm um, I'm fairly happy about it, actually. Uh, we can see there's always some nice luxuries we'll need. Combine in, we'll probably just end up leasing the combine this year. So I'd rather buy all the other smaller bits of equipment that we need. Because obviously we can only lease one bit of equipment at a time. So if we can buy everything else that we need to facilitate harvest. And then uh, lease the, harm, the combine for the, for the entirety. That might be a good plan. But all right, away we go. We're just going to zip around the corner here. Tractor's barely gonna even notice that plows on the back of it, I think. Yeah, the aim is that we can hopefully get some more plowing contracts. I would love to get some more contracts in general. All very quiet on that front at the moment there, but we will we can do what we can do now. We'll, we'll get our own uh, cultivation work done, like I say. And then uh, as soon as those contracts come back in, we don't need to worry about our own ground there. Uh, I like the idea that we've purchased two bigger fields, uh, four and 31, so we can really push ahead with those. So uh and just a lot more practical fields really that should be good to get some sheep into there as well and hopefully the sheep limit in there will be a lot higher than the pens that we have and we can sell that pen up just don't want to do that until we've moved all the sheep over and up we come all right perfect and so like i say we've got the 
we had our wilding challenge there uh, last month. We've been able to get a nice little uh, wildlife corridor in the middle of this field here. Splits the field up quite nicely. Was hoping to get some kind of gate in the corner here, but I'm just not sure what we'll do there. I just let the grasses grow over it once uh, everything starts to come back in the spring. I think that'll work nicely. But uh, for right now, all we'll do is... Yeah, look at that. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, all we'll do now is get this headland plowed in. And we're away. Okay, we'll start about there, I reckon. Excellent stuff. Just cruising along. Absolutely booking it there. We could go a lot faster, I'm sure. Obviously, there is a machine limit on the plow. Uh, but yeah, hopefully at some point we'll be able to get an even bigger plow again. You know, I, I think uh, Jeremy Clarkson would want us to go for the biggest. Uh, and that would work out quite nice there. But we're going to try and keep in rhythm with the uh, with the series there. I wouldn't have gone for this tractor, like I say, if it wasn't befitting the... Uh, uh, the the role of the Lamborghini if we had a Lamborghini in game or indeed if one should appear uh, a good quality one that is I know there's a couple out there that are just not the best but if one should appear on the motor then you better believe this will get swapped out for that uh, I think it's only only right to do so uh, but yeah we are away as you can see quite a few stones on here we will get that roller out and about and get this work all taken care of uh, but yeah plenty of time to do that uh, and we'll see. We'll get this field in tip-top shape. We might even maybe get a little bit of lime. See how much it going to cost us to get this whole field done with lime. Uh, and yeah, we can probably tackle that as well. That'd be really cool if we can get that done. And just allow us to uh, spread it onto here and get it worked in. So we can really capitalize on a good first yield. I don't quite know what we're going to put into these two fields. These were both sorghum before we uh, split the field up. So we may end up putting one into uh, oilseed rape and something into wheat maybe. And into a first wheat there and we'll see how it goes we are using the uh uk geo so it does allow us to be a little bit more versatile with what we can do so that's always cool and we will see but we are gonna uh plow the headlands in and we're looking good do like a bit of plowing here in fs22 does look rather nice especially in my shiny new john deere well new to me at least 140 grand well spent Yeah, I realized when we were in the stream the other day, and like I say, if you would like to follow us on these streams, that you can find us on um, uh, this week. It'll probably be Saturday again. Uh, plenty of uh, plenty of fun happening there. Plenty of good things to do, and it just allows us really to uh, to really push ahead uh, and get some of the, the the work done there. And it was during these streams that we realized that. Hang on. Oh no, let's not do that. Uh, you know, there's fields of grass that I didn't capitalize on or I didn't use because they're too small and too fiddly. Yeah, they're worth quite a lot of money. So that's where the idea came for, to sell those up. And I think it's worked out great guns. Really, really has. That could be a huge step forward for the farm. But doesn't that just look pretty darn good, actually? I like it. I like it a lot. Cool. All right, let's stop before I hit my new fence. We'll lift her up, turn her over this time. Need to get right into that corner and see if we can clear that out and tidy her up a bit. Excellent stuff. So do let me know how your challenge is going there, what you'll get up to, how, if you've hit any roadblocks along the way or... Or if you found any new wrinkles you can add to the challenge, I'm always curious about that one. Uh, a lot of you are saying that you're really enjoying it and getting stuck into it there, and I, I do really thank you for that. I'd I love to hear the feedback. And uh, we, yeah, like I say, we'll be back with another live stream with more uh, as we progress. Until that time, though, I think we're going to leave it here. So we've gone big. We've got a shiny new uh, John Deere, and it is delightful. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Until next time, though, we'll see you later. Until then. I've been Simulation for the Nation. Do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always. If you are new and you've yet to do so, do give the thumbs up there. Subscribe for more. And we'll catch you in the next one. See you later.